Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric, and this is Rome, and Buddha, and I are here to welcome me back to another video. This one is about Soul, S-O-V-L, and I would like to show you, uh, let's see if I can get over to here. We got a comment from Zomtama asking us, Zomtama? It was Zomtama. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that wrong. Uh, he is saying, assuming a he, 98.5. 99.4% of our viewers are male. Um, oh, it's not quite that bad. We'll look at it in just a second. I'm still going to make the guess. Uh, can you... I uh, asked if I can play all giants. Any race is okay. Now, we can't play all giants, but I can show you what we can do. Okay, we are in the game. I'm going to hide the camera here for a little bit because I'm not 100% sure where we need to be for this. So... Uh, if we would like to do our own army, we could do a multiplayer game. So ranked, custom game, and versus the AI. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so custom game is we can make our own game set up however we want. We can make it a private game, a public game. We can invite our friends to play, all that sort of stuff. Having said that, if you'd be interested in kicking my butt at this, uh, let me know. Uh, my uh, links to my Steam uh, profile down below so you can go ahead and add me on steam send me a message I'm more than happy to play you i'm not a huge pvp person uh even for games like this uh but you know amongst the community yeah definitely let me know uh ranked is uh well i haven't won any and you can see here filthy casual is uh apparently the man when it comes to this game or the woman the person filthy casual is the person um yeah we got points we got elo <clears throat> oh okay i don't know it, it might it might be tongue deal too actually sleepy narwhals that's a good name like that one all right so <clears throat> we could we could find a match that way now what we're going to look at today is custom ai and to do that we have some options small standard random map we got all sorts of different maps we could pick and we've got some different map types or some, some game types. So our pitched battle, which is what we generally play with within the main campaign, but also one with scoring objectives. It'd be nice if um, you saw these in the main campaign, if, if some of these were scoring objectives and some of them were pitched battle. I think that would add a lot to the, the replayability of the, uh, the roguelike version of this. But to do this, we're gonna want an army list. Now there are some basic lists that are already built. <clears throat> you can see here, there are some some additional pre-built lists. And in fact, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got one I built here, but we're going to build a new one. So to do that, we need to go in to the army builder. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to pick Goatman Raiders because we unlocked a new a new giant in that list. Right. And we're going to pick our new list and we're going to call it Giants. And then we're going to look down here and you can see we have some options, just like in regular Warhammer. Um, you have to pick units with various groups. So we need a commander. We have a <clears throat> minimum one. It says zero of one that we can select initially. We have to have at least one battle line, and we can have up to three of those. We can have two raiders with this and one wild beast. So wild beast is going to be our giant. And generally speaking, <clears throat> uh, the minotaurs, by the way, also count as, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat this morning. Really good at me. Um, feral giant, uh, the Minotaurs are the best. The Feral Giant's actually the least um, point-wise of any of, our, any of our, our wild beasts here. But we're going to take that. Now, we get some additional options here. So these whatever things we else we want, we're going to go and take Boulder Throw, and we'll take 25 points for that. Now, I haven't found a faction yet that will let you build an all-giant list. Now, I don't believe, and I could be wrong on this, Hmm. I don't believe the game, the, the campaign, the roguelike campaign cares about this, but I could be wrong on that. <clears throat> and it may be the other day when I saved my money, get to the end and I wanted to buy something expensive. I couldn't might be because I had my wild beast or that version of the <clears throat> army already filled. And so I didn't have any spots left for those big expensive creatures. Hard to say. Let's go and pick a commander here. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and take the, uh, I'm going to take, I take the shaman, I say confidently. 
<clears throat> now he comes with a mongrel pack unit and you can see hand weapon and shield we could change that to spear and shield if we want <clears throat> so this means that we get the extra rank of supporting when we don't charge and he's not a super aggressive so i think that makes sense for him now we can get spells and we can get items so spells he has available wild form shadow bolt thousand mouth mouths hex of ruin and primal fury I'm going to go with Shadow Bolt. I'm not actually going to take Wild Fury or Wild Form. I think we'll save the points. We'll just go for Shadow Bolt. We'll use him for a little bit of offense. Then we get into it. We get into it. He's not going to be super crazy. Um, I'm not planning on playing him that way. So I'm not really too worried about his extra attacks and stuff that we could potentially get. Now, he also gets an item list. Now, some get an item and a weapon. He gets a spell and an item. So we can pick here and we can see which of these we want. And again, you can only get one. Now, somebody commented that they thought you could only get one weapon. I think you can also only get one item enchantment. So when you're at the store and it gives you the option to spend things uh, and you buy three different weapons, you're only getting the last one you bought, as far as I can tell, and you wasted the rest of the, that money. <clears throat> and that shows you here, we can only have one item enchantment. So we get a few options here. Um, I would like to do something that gives us Oh, uh, that's just one power. Command, unyielding, vitality, ocean of power. I'm going to go unnatural power. I don't know if that power is going to help our spell or not, but I'm going to go with that in the hopes that, that that does in fact help it. But none of these really, to me... Hold on, how does the spell work? What is the spell? Shadow Bolt. We get automatic hits. Hmm. I don't know that any of this helps me, if I'm honest. I might save my points. Yeah, I'm going to save my points. I didn't, I didn't click on anything, right? No. Okay. So those are our options for him. Now we can get some raiders and we can get battle line. Uh, let's see what our raider options are first. Riding chariot, raiding chariot, excuse me, feral hounds, mongrel skirmishers, and centaurs. Now we can only do the one giant, <clears throat> but let's throw some centaurs in there. And in fact, um... I might throw, how many points do we have left? Oh, we do need at least one battle line unit. Um, the Ibex Warriors are by far our best battle line unit. If we do that, that'll take us up to a lot. So if we go here, we're up to 449. That gives us 50 points. So we could give them and our centaurs. It's only worth one point there. Sure, why not? What can we do with these guys? Um, let me arrow down here a little bit so we can read the rest of it. So we could go with two hand weapons, right? So one hand weapon is just a charge bonus of power. Hand weapon and shield should be a charge bonus of power and one defense, right? Yep. And then two hand weapons is an extra attack. I'm going to go with the extra attack. So go with that. So we are up to 464 now. And I wonder if that's per unit, right? So it says two there. Let's let's go back to here to this, which is none. Five. Yep. So that's two points per model. So we have five models. So it's actually ten points there. Now our Ibex Warriors, we've got some points left. There's not much else we can do. We may as well see if we can boost them up. They have halberds now, um, which give you that uh, their save can never be better than a four plus. So they always have a 50-50 chance of taking a wound, no matter who they are, which is pretty good. Because um, you put them up against a high defense unit like uh, like a Triceratops, for instance, right? That'd be great. Or we could go here. Uh, great weapons. Power and charge bonus of one. You know what? I'm going to go back to Halberds. I know, I know I'm kind of leaving. <sighs> I mean, it does get us a power of five. So that means most of the time things aren't going to be much better than that anyway. And with the charge, that'll go to six. You know, we'll go with this. And that's it. That's our that's our war band. We've got four out of the max possible six units. We're using most of our points. Now we could pick a larger unit. So a war band is 500 points, a battalion is a thousand, and a legion is 1500. All right, so we can play with that. So I'm gonna go here. Let's uh let's look to see if we were to go up to say a battalion. That's going to let us get still. Now we can get up to two giants. Oh, okay. We do that for the most giants. Nope, because I can only have one giant. So I can have a second wild beast, 
but I can only have the one giant. So we'll just stick with a warband. Why did it all of a sudden my unit get, did I get extra points? Got one, I've got five. I think they made his, his uh, unit bigger. No? There we go. Maybe made, it made them bigger, I think is what it did when we went up a group. Okay, so, uh, and I went with the great weapons. Okay, so we were at 479. Uh, we can... Here in shield. Still at 479. Let's go. So, we've got it here. We're going to go ahead and save that list. We'll back out of here. Yeah. We'll go to our uh, versus AI. I'm going to pick a scoring objective. I've never played a scoring objective battle. I don't know what the objectives are. I'm guessing we're better off with lots of cheaper units than with, with regular ones. Um, random map. Sure, we'll just stick with a random map. Now, select a list. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go down to our Goatman Raiders, we're gonna pick our Giants list, we're gonna select it. Um, AI list, we could pick whatever we want. I'm just gonna leave it on random. And we're gonna go ahead and start a game. Oh, can I not do that? Um, hmm. Interesting. Let's go against, um, go against Reptile Kingdoms. Oh, that's a battalion. Um, does it say, oh, Warband. Uh, here, we'll just go against, we'll go against Jorge's regiment here. That's a Warband, and we'll hit start. Okay, scoring objective. I assume we need to just sit in that thing, right? Diabex warriors, our shaman, our centaurs. All right. Um, I'm kind of okay with that. Oh, and you can go forward. You can jump into it right away. Probably doesn't matter. Um, it gave him wild form because I reset him, and we lost our... Damn it. That's okay. If we're going to set him in here to fight, then that's fine. Um, I'm going to put him right here for now, and then we'll move him forward. Ibex warriors... Centaurs are our speed unit, and we'll put you over here as well. Ooh, we got a cannon there. That's not good news for us. Got a captain on a griffin. Okay, this is what bothers me the most. Luckily, uh, we only got a one, but we failed to save. Okay, what we'll do, though, is we'll run up to here. Um, can we have... Oh, we can't quite get range on him, huh? I turn. We go to, like, here... Nope. How did he shoot me? Oh, wait, so this is the thing. He shouldn't have been able to shoot me. Because he shot through the trees. Right? Because look, if we come up to here, we can't shoot through the trees. Which means he's... We can't shoot him. Which means he's on the back side of this trees. Because we clearly have the range. So if... Well, I don't know. I'm going to try this. If we can't shoot him, the game cheated. Okay. Oh, it will. So he's just touching. All right. Let's go ahead and put some shots, and we got no hits. No hits. We rolled twos and threes. What did he roll? Oh, he just had to roll the one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit pass. All right, you came in there. We don't care about that, but he's not going to get a charge. They will, but let's let's move here. <clears throat> he's going to come up there. Uh, you're coming this way. Do I care about that? What if we go to here? He's not going to get a charge initially. He can. He'll probably go into the side there. He'll go this way. Do I... Come on. Oh, 
I can't get the charge on him. But you can. All right, well, we're, we're going to throw our giant in. Now, we paid the money for this. Um, this is range 18, 2d3, power 5. So that'll work fine against these guys. Got four hits, good power. They made one save. That's fine, and we'll set up for that charge. So we'll plan on charge here, charge here, take the charge here. Potentially take two charges there. If he does, though, we'll come in with him next. Uh, no, we're not going to counter because we've got spear. So we're fine with that. So we're going to go here. We're, yep, and they did come in on the side, just as we said, but next turn we'll side charge into him. Yep, and everybody is now engaged in melee almost, except for you. Can we get... Where's the back of that? All right, so that's a back charge. And you are going, oh, oh yeah. And then you are gonna go ahead and cast your wild deal Bobby there. And we'll see how this goes. Now, I don't know how we get points. We got a score of 50, I assume from standing in here. Um, Return. So now we need to clear it back out probably. Of course, they made all their five pluses because they rolled three sixes in a row, followed by two fives. This is the roll, six, 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 five, five, one. Not too bad. That's completely fair though, That's what they say. Uh, whereas we rolled one, one, two, two, two. <laughs> we are not gonna stick. We did! That's the bonus of rolling all ones all the time. You do actually make more of your morale saves. Um, our giant, however, uh, two, uh, three threes, okay. Uh, but we made our saves, mostly. That's what we expect, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, you know, would be kind of what you'd expect. One of each have that, well, each number has its own chance coming up. How about that? Better way of saying it. All right. Only a win by two, though. So the cannon only, well, it took four damage. And it broke. I'm not sure how it was a win by two if we did by four damage, but or I mean if it was a two two if it did four, but that's fine. Um, you're gonna charge into the back of there. You're probably gonna move around to try to get a side charge. Oh no, he got himself set up for a back charge. The question is, do we want to let him have that back charge, or are we going to go this way? Um, I can't quite get there. That'll get me there. So I can, I don't think I can break it though. So that was probably a mistake. I probably should have turned this way to get into the back of him. Cause I don't think I can interrupt that cause it'll be a front charge and it'll be longer than any of his potential charges. But we can put some arrows into it. So a little bit of a mistake there. Didn't think my way through it. Of course he once again rolled all sixes on his saves. Cause that's what they do. We'll pop that again. We got three hits out of our out of our leader there. That paid paid dividends for that spell. There we go. Oh, look at that! They got three ones. It's about time we got some balance for all those sixes. Um, now we're still not saving, but we did okay on our attack roll there, huh? Although he kind of he kind of spiked that. He get five of six on it. Well, I mean it's only one border, so yeah. But we can't make any saves. Look at that. Our saves have been terrible. All right, and that roll was crap too. Four of ten on a four plus or. or yeah, that's not terrible. It's one under. So that one turned into be a draw. Um, but nobody's getting any points as long as we hold on to that draw except us. All right, they came in. Our giant made almost all his saves. He's doing okay. He still lost a couple points. Um, but they did not break. Now he's going to come in the back and there's nothing I can do about it. See, I have to be closer. So that's fine, but we'll we'll turn and we'll come into the back of this guy here. We'll leave ourselves options. We go side, back, back. Depending on what we need. All right, well, we can't cast the spell anymore, so we only had the two, but we got one of them. We make a save, we made one save. All right. 
Okay, we're, we're losing by a lot here. Ah, they made all those saves. Yeah, there go our, there go our, our stone axes there. And we broke. We're going to lose this one. Almost certainly. There we go. We got some dice rolls there. That's not too bad. Um, our giant makes three. He rolled two ones, of course. They did not break. Um, that's fine. All right, so. I didn't want that, but he went first, so I didn't have a choice. I would much rather charge in the back of this guy. That's by far for me the best. Um, so that's annoying because now he's going to get to get in. Um, now, if we would have got to move first, we could have attacked at will into the back and there's nothing he could have done about it. Um, one, one. Oh, he make the save? Made the save. Um, now he's going to get, I assume, 100 points for having two units in there. I'm not really sure. We're going to find out here in a second. Uh, so in this case, the who went first is what probably determined the outcome of this battle. It was close enough for that. He lost by two. He stuck. Doesn't matter. This this one I think is oh no he only got fifty points. So just having a unit in the middle at the end of uh, by itself at the end of the turn is enough. We're going to not charge anybody. Um, he's going to go into there. Um, but that means we can go into the back. Or do we go after the Griffin? Turn this way and throw a rock at him. He's only got one health left. We got him. We might get this. Um, what if I move into the circle and I stop here to get us an extra 50 points and we'll play the... Uh, I think I'm still in the back of him. Yeah. So I don't know, like, if you retreat, let's say, um, but you have the points... I don't see like a max turn list here somewhere. So what are we playing up to point wise, right? So we should get the points here and we did. Final turn. So all we have to do is stand here because he can't get any more points. So we could charge. I'm going to charge into the back. If I charge into the back, no, I have to stay here. I can't charge. I have to stay in the circle, right? Because if I go out, they're going to be able to move somebody in and they could have an extra points at the end. So I have to just stay here. So we're just gonna stay here. We're gonna take our points. I'm gonna throw a rock um, at somebody. You have a defense of four, you have a defense of five. We'll throw it there. Four kills, yeah, there we go. And we're just gonna sit here. And there's nothing they can do. So seven turns. Victory is ours. It shouldn't be, but the giant, as was suggested, will take. Uh, and you can see defeated, destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Half strength kind of breaks it down. Not too bad. Um, we did have a slight pointless bonus over them. But that cannon, that cannon. So that is our first, um, that's our first attempt at a, kind of a custom battle. So that was our AI battle with our own army builder. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm sorry we couldn't do an all giant list. Um, I, I played around with it last night for about an hour looking at different lists and seeing what we could do. And uh, I think one is all, all the, I just looked at war bands, but I'm pretty sure one is all the giants we can get in any army, at least to start with. So sorry about that. I did the best I could. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheer. Cheer? How about cheers? We'll put an S on there. See you next time.